Hello. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so, I've been sick. Uh, that's why I didn't make a video Wednesday. But I had to make a video today because I came to the realization that even though I have two videos regarding derm rollers, I don't have a video explaining what a derm roller is or why we use it. So, to start things off, um, this is a derm roller. And a derm roller is a micro needling device which is usually used to treat scars and stretch marks um, to make them appear, you know, to make them basically, to attempt to make them disappear over time. Uh, it's very effective for that, and you're probably wondering, okay, if it's used to treat scars and stretch marks, how is it going to help us grow a beard? Well, the way that it treats scars and stretch marks is by stimulating collagen synthesis, and it does this by creating thousands of micropunctures in your skin, which trigger your body to send proteins to the area to repair the damage. Um, collagen is a structural protein that makes up a quarter of the proteins in your body. Um, like keratin, uh, collagen is a protein that is beneficial for your hair. Uh, derm rolling has been shown in a study to significantly increase the results that you get from minoxidil use. Now that being said, you might be wondering if derm rolling is going to help you grow a beard if you're not using minoxidil. And it has been shown to work by itself, but the results are not nearly as significant. And as far as I can tell, I have actually don't really know from experience. I haven't really seen a lot of evidence of people using it uh, without minoxidil. But as far as I know, it's really only going to help you uh, stimulate growth that was already going to happen. Uh, unlike minoxidil, which uh, activates uh, dormant uh, follicles that may, you know, that may remain dormant for your entire life. Um, so I have two sizes of derm rollers here, and I want to just kind of briefly go over uh, the difference between the two. Uh, this is a 0.5 millimeter uh, derm roller, and this is a one millimeter derm roller. Um, the difference between them, other than just the width of the head, is actually the, the needle length. So the reason why this is called a 0.5 millimeter derm roller is because the needles are 0.5 millimeters in length, which would lead you to, you know, figure out that this one uh, has a needle length of one millimeter. Now, since it has a uh, needle length of one millimeter, um, that means that the needles penetrate deeper into your skin. Um, the recommended size for stimulating facial hair growth is 0.5 millimeter, and that's probably what you should use. I personally use the one millimeter, and the reason for that is because I have, uh, you know, some rather thick growth on certain areas of my face, and the 0.5 millimeter just wasn't cutting it. Uh, no matter how hard I pushed, it wasn't getting through to my skin. So I personally use the one millimeter, and you can as well. Um, the difference between them, other than just that, is that you can only use the one millimeter uh, once every two to four weeks, whereas for the 0.5 millimeter, you can use it one or tw one or two times per week. I'm not going to go over the details for scheduling uh, derm rolling around minoxidil use. I do that in my other video regarding derm rolling. You can check that out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them up here and here so you can see uh, my video where I show you how to derm roll, and I also show uh, my video explaining the myth of derm rolling for absorption, which is what we don't do. We don't use it for absorption. We use it for stimulating growth and stimulating collagen production. Uh, so I have those videos up here. Uh, if you want to drop a like and a comment below, I would appreciate that. And if you want to follow my uh, progress for my minoxidil beard, you can hit subscribe down below as well. And I will see you later.